Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing here today? This lovely Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're doing a mod spotlight slash tutorial on a mod called Iron Chest. If you have not heard of it and played it in any mod packs or anything, this is a fantastic mod that I absolutely love. Now I am recording this in the 116.5 version, however these recipes remain the same for the 116, 117, and 118. That's right, they already have the beta of 118 out at the time of this recording and so this is fabulous. It's great to add to your regular vanilla Minecraft playthrough and of course it's also to add to mod packs. A lot of mod packs actually add this because it's so great. All right, so what is it going to do? Well, first of all, it's going to give you different chest options, but not just colors. First of all, we have our trolley chest, which is the dirt chest 9000, and we'll we'll talk about later while it's all trolley and all that. Um but then you have iron, gold, copper, silver, and then you have diamond, but there's different versions of diamonds. Look how much storage this is compared to the space that a single chest takes up. That versus that, I think I would take that. What do you think? And then of course the obsidian and crystal are the same storage size. And so let's get into it, how to make them, how to upgrade, because yes, you can actually upgrade from one version to the next, or you can straight out to make whichever kind you want. There's different versions. So let's take a look at it. First of all is the dirt chest 9,000. So this is a dirt chest and it looks like dirt and it's very, very trolly. So, so look, let's find out. So first of all, you take a chest and surround it by eight dirt and it gives you the dirt chest 9,000. Why would you want a dirt chest 9,000? I have no idea. Honestly, I really don't. Why? Cause it's only one slot and all it holds is dirt. So if I take this out and try to put anything else in, it will not hold it except for the dirt and one stack. Yeah. You're never going to make that. Now, sometimes I've seen it like in loot bags or rewards as a troll item, but I would never make one. Yeah. Just my opinion. All right. But we can actually take a regular wooden chest and upgrade it to an iron chest. So to do that, we would take an iron plank surrounded by eight. I mean, excuse me iron plank, an oak plank surrounded by eight iron ingots. And that'll give us this upgrade. So what does the upgrades do? Let's grab a couple of them. So first of all, grab a couple, excuse me. Uh, first of all, if you have a double chest and you go to upgrade it, it's going to separate it. What does that mean? So to upgrade any of your chest current, you just take it and right click on it. Look at that. It split it up but it also upgraded it to the iron chest. Now, if you do it to a regular chest that isn't already doubled like so, then it's just gonna upgrade. Obviously you wouldn't have the splitting animation, but it's fabulous because look at the space, that space compared to a regular single chest space. Yeah. All right, so the iron chest has 54 slots. A normal chest has 27 slots. But you can also just straight out make the chest if that's what you want to do. So to do that, you put a chest in the middle surrounded by eight iron ingots. Now this recipe is going to kind of seem very, very familiar. That's because it is, and we'll go through why. But that is how you make the iron chest both ways, either upgrade or to straight out make it. Fabulous. All right, so next we have, and uh, the, these recipes are lacking a little bit because I have vanilla with just this mod added. So what does that mean? Well, I don't have copper because I'm in the 116.5 version. However, if you have copper or if you've upgraded to the Minecraft version, obviously that already has copper, then all you would do is take it, the oak plank and surround it and uh, to get your upgrade. So what does the upgrade look like? It looks like this. It's a wood to copper chest upgrade. So Doing the same philosophy here, you on a wood chest, you would simply right click it and it would upgrade it to a copper chest. Obviously in this version, it's not available, but there's also copper to iron 
And the reason why, because copper actually has less, I know, I know, I set it up wrong, but that's okay. The copper chest actually has 45 slots, so the iron chest has more because it has 54. So copper chest compared to the iron chest. And then to make the copper chest, you're going to take the chest, surround it by copper. You, you just have to print on the coppers there. Okay, yeah. And then, of course, copper to iron. You take the iron all around and have copper in the middle. Yeah. And that's how you would do that one. So you could also take one of these. So let's demonstrate that a copper to iron. So if we have this one is copper. So if we click on it, it's going to upgrade it to the iron one. I know, I know this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but. That way, if you're skipping ahead, I'm going to try to separate it by which type. So if you're skipping ahead, that way you see which how it works each and every time. All right, next we have the copper to silver chest upgrade. Again, this one is lacking a little bit because, well, it, this vanilla Minecraft and silver's not in here. So use your imagination. You would have copper in the middle, surrounded by silver, upgrade to a silver chest. Woohoo! from copper to silver of course you would have to click on the copper chest and upgrade it to the silver chest so if we took it copper ta-da it's silver yay so upgrade automatically with your stuff now to make one outright of course you're just going to have a chest in the middle surrounded by silver now the silver chest does have 72 slots which makes it even better than the iron chest. Now from here on out, they're only gonna get better and better. So next we have the gold versions. So first of all, we have an iron to gold upgrade. So that's gonna be an iron ingot in the middle surrounded by eight gold ingots. And that's gonna give you the iron to gold upgrade. Then we have the silver to gold upgrade. So silver ingot would be here in the middle surrounded by eight gold ingots and that would give you the silver upgrade so to demonstrate those here we have silver we click on it then we have gold and then from the iron if we click on that to upgrade it it would give us the gold chest now of course i'm in creative it will use your upgrade up when you use it uh, so it will disappear i'm only in creative because i can grab these easier so yeah but then to make the gold chest outright, you're going to take an iron chest and surround it by gold. So you do have to do the iron chest and surround it by the gold. So then we get the gold chest, which has 81 slots. Yes, beautiful, beautiful compared to silver, which is 72. Next, we have a diamond chest which has 108 slots. Now this is the highest you can get slot wise, uh, but the other ones have different abilities. So the diamond chest has 108 slots, which is the highest you can get. So we can do a gold to diamond chest upgrade, which this is, this, I, I can't speak today. This is where it gets a little bit different. So you're gonna use six glass on uh, three top and bottom, two diamonds and then a gold ingot and that'll give you the gold to diamond chest upgrade but then to make the chest you're going to take a gold chest put the six glass top and bottom and surrounded by two diamonds on the sides and that will give you the gold chest first of all it is beautiful it has that little gold outlay which i love which was changed because if you remember i did have a tutorial on the previous versions the whole chest used to be the color of whatever it was. I think I kind of like it this way, where it's just the outline. I think that's an upgrade, in my opinion, anyway. All right, so again, if we take our gold to diamond chest upgrade, click on a gold chest, make sure it's a gold one, and then it turns it into diamond chest. Beautiful. All right, so there's two different versions. They're the same slot size, so why would I want the different versions compared to the diamond? Well, first of all, there is the crystal chest, which is 108 slots, again, same size. But the crystal chest, if we put stuff inside of it, let's just empty out our inventory, put all this stuff in here, right? Nobody wants stuff in their inventory. Look at that. You can see the items that are in there. Well, that's new. They used to not spin around that fast, but they spin around. Now there was um, some crash issues. They have resolved that uh, with the items spinning around in the crystal chest. 
I do know on some instances it can possibly cause lag. So if you notice some lag, you're near a crystal chest, that could be the issue. You might want to upgrade it to something else. Um, so definitely check that out if you are having lag issues. But if not, look at it. It's really cool. I love it. So how do we make this? First of all, we have a diamond to crystal upgrade. So that is an obsidian in the middle surrounded by eight glass. And that'll give you the diamond to crystal upgrade. Or you can outright make it by putting a diamond chest in the middle and surrounding it by glass. So once again, if we take this diamond chest here, we can upgrade it and make it beautiful crystal. Again, if you are having issues, then um, check out and make sure. Like I wouldn't recommend having these for a whole bunch of stuff because that definitely would probably lag you out. Uh, but you know, if you just have some special stuff you want to showcase in there, I think that would be pretty cool. Just be aware of the lag issue sometimes uh, and know that if you are having issues, check and see if that's the cause of it. But that's pretty cool. All right, last one we have is the obsidian chest. And why would you want the obsidian chest when it's still 108 slots? Because it's explosion proof. Whether you're playing with mods or just those pesky little creepers. If a creeper comes by and tries to blow your storage system up, guess what? I don't think so. It's obsidian. You can't blow that up. That's right. They're explosion proof. Fantastic. All right. So there's two different ways to make this one. You can do diamond to obsidian chest upgrade. So that's a glass in the middle surrounded by eight obsidian. So we have diamond to obsidian. And again, it's diamond. You cannot do it from the crystal to the obsidian. It has to be the diamond. And of course you can make it outright diamond chest in the middle and surrounded by obsidian. So once again, if we go to upgrade this, we have our diamond one. We cannot use that one because we used it for the crystal, but we have this diamond one here and we can simply click and upgrade it to the obsidian. And again, it, these obsidian ones are kind of cool. Now this is kind of what the chest used to look like. See how it looks like obsidian. That's what these all were before, minus the crystal one. But the gold was completely all gold. The iron was all iron. Like, you didn't see the wood on it. But I kind of like the way that they upgraded it. Um, I will put a link um, if you want to see the older version. Um, so that way you can check that out. The recipes are almost exactly the same. There have been a few changes, of course. Um, there used to be a few different upgrades and stuff. but. That is the mod. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love this mod. As always, the link for it will be down below. It does not require any dependencies, so you can just drop it in your mod folder, load up a new world, and you are good to go. All right. That's it for today. Till next time, this is Love Attemptress. Wait, what? Uh, I forgot. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. It really helps me out. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see future videos and all that, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell. That way uh, you can see when all the new videos and live stream notifications come out. All right. Until next time, this is Love Attemptress. Don't get burned. Bye.